Somewhere in the Alps. So, Agent Gracefully, you're part of our spy exchange program from Canada? Try not to say my name too often. I'm trying to travel incognito. Actually, you're traveling in the Alps. What do you have there? I got something very important out of a smelly trash can. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a trash can. You need a hobby. No, not smelly. Smelly! As in the society of meaningless evil larceny lying and yelling. Of course, our evil nemesis. Spy Fox, you've got to get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. No, I've got a better idea. I'd better get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Oh, and take this gadget from Professor Quack. You may need it. What is it? Dehydrated skis. The side of this little pill is a pair of skis. All you have to do is add water. And pray tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need them to get away from those bad guys. Good luck, my luck. Bad guys? Got water? to get out of here. Although this would be a nice getaway cottage, I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Water, work your magic. The dehydrated skis are now rehydrated. Feet don't fail me now. Skis, I mean. I wonder which way I should go. I wonder which way I should go. With my Olympic ski ability, I bet I can ski right past those goons. With my Olympic ski ability, I bet I can ski right past those goons. You miss me, Chief? So you've analyzed the trash bag, I see. And what have you found? It's a model box 1-1000 scale for one evil robot. On the side it says, Some Assembly Required. Sounds like an excellent title for one of my adventures. It has a mailing label that reads, To La Roche, Care of Chateau La Roche, World Spare. Hmm. Inside the box are assembly instructions. You'd better take these with you, Spy Fox. Wow, you can learn a lot by reading. If Smelly is involved, they must be up to their usual no goodness. You'd best go check out this world's fair. Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up the mobile command center. I'm on my way, Chief. Spy Fox, are you okay? Shaken but not stirred, Monkey Penny. 
So it looks like we're on to something big. Yes, I think Smelly is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you, me, and Professor Quack to get to the bottom of it. Well, you and me anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the Smelly trash bag. Well, of course it's Smelly if you got it out of a trash bag, Five Hawks. No, Monkey Penny, not Smelly. Smelly, as in the Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. Our evil nemesis. Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here with me? Then you can refer to them whenever you're back here at the Mobile Command Center. And remember, you can contact me via your spy watch at any time. Don't forget to check out the spy vending machine, Spy Fox. It's full of new gadgets for you to try out. I'm sure you'll find some of them quite useful. Thanks. Now I need to go get busy and go give that LaRoche up a chateau, LaRoche, a visit and find out just what he's up to. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but unfortunately, I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let waitresses with proper ID in today. See? It has the job title of waitress and a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. Unfortunately, Seems that I'll have to find a way to get the proper ID. A free photo booth. Just one of the many joyous pleasures in life. Dentist. France. Tourist. Cashier. Clown. Ballerina, jockey, dishwasher, fisherman, wrestler, waitress. That's not really my best son. This is a rather cool looking device. What is it? One of those novelty gadgets that lets you see what you'll look like in 50 years? It's an ID maker. Of my own creation, of course. It's for making identification cards. Fascinating. How does it work? You place a photo in the photo slot, choose an occupation, and any name you like, then press the Process ID button. A completed ID will pop out of the machine. Professor, you're amazing. What if I made an ID, but then I change my mind and want to make a different one? Well, if you don't like the ID you created, you can make another card. Just reset the name and occupation. Insert a new photo, then press the Process ID button again. That sounds like fun. Creating false ID cards is something only secret agents can do. And then only when we're on a case. Right! With the photo in place, I can now make a new ID card. Roscoe. Nancy. Dishwasher. Jockey. Helicopter pilot. Cashier. Journalist. Ballerina. Band leader. Waitress. Professor Quack's machine works perfectly. My identification card is complete. I expect that this will come in quite handy.
Here you are, sir. One waitress ID card. Oh, my. I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let me guess. It was in your other pants, wasn't it? Why? Yes, it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Nancy. Keep up the good work. Have a spectacular day. And if I don't see you tomorrow... Someone's in the kitchen with China. <laughs> Someone's in the kitchen with China. <laughs> I bet these are cool. Spy skates, they look sharp, Professor Quack. How do they work? I've always loved the grace and beauty of figure skating. But being in the spy biz never left time for the years of training. So I created these. You simply slip them on and insert a diagram of the skate maneuver you want to perform, and voila, the skates with you in them perform it perfectly. Well, those could sure help to put the villains on ice. Ah, right. Spy Fox. I like these new blueberry flavored blueprints. Spy Heat. This looks like some hot work. How does this gadget work, Professor Quack? Now this gadget, I'm really proud of. You can spray it on something, say like a thermometer, and watch the temperature rise right before your eyes. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. You can say that again. All right. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. Hmm. Light on the palate, rough on the tummy. A fingerprint replicator utensil kit. How does this work, Professor Quack? You'll eat this one up, Spy Fox. You place the fingerprint sending fork device on your target's plate. Then, when they pick it up to start eating, their fingerprint will show up on the fingerprint receiving spoon device. This is hands down one of your best spy gadgets yet, Professor Quack. I hope to follow it up with a matching salt and pepper shaker. Maybe if I mix these with a little goat's milk. Nah, let's not go there. An alarm deactivator. What in the world could this gadget be used for? Well, it's used to turn off alarms. You'll attach one end to where the alarm signal is coming in, and then attach the other end to where the alarm signal is going out. The alarm signal is then redirected harmlessly into the alarm deactivator, keeping the alarm from going off. It just looks like a wire with two alligator clips on either end. Yes, it's beautiful in its simplicity, isn't it? I once printed these on exploding paper, but man, did those cause heartburn. Go right in, Nancy.
Come to the kitchen with Dinah.